Have you ever wondered how much a mother's approval influences a man's behavior? This question illuminates one of the most potent psychological dynamics at play in a man's life. At the heart of it all lies a relentless pursuit for maternal approval, a quest that can unknowingly foster narcissistic tendencies. Imagine a man seeking his mother's approval at every turn, yearning for that validation to affirm his worth. But what happens when this quest becomes a constant, an unquenchable thirst? The fear of rejection amplifies, and slowly, narcissistic tendencies begin to creep in. The need for constant validation starts to dominate his psyche, subtly nudging him towards a self-centric worldview. This quest, this relentless pursuit for maternal approval, can significantly shape a man's self-esteem. It influences his decision-making process, often steering him towards choices that may not necessarily align with his authentic self. This is the profound and intricate influence of maternal approval. But how does this relentless pursuit of maternal approval affect a man's relationships with others? This question opens up a complex web of dynamics that can transform interpersonal connections in profound ways. The constant need for approval, initially rooted in the mother-son bond, doesn't confine itself to this relationship. It seeps into friendships, romantic partnerships, and even professional interactions. Imagine a scenario where a man's decision-making is heavily influenced by his mother's opinion. This could lead to conflicts, especially in romantic relationships, where the partner may feel overlooked or undermined. The partner's voice may feel drowned out by the overpowering echo of the mother's approval or disapproval. Moreover, these tendencies can also breed misunderstandings, as the man might project his need for maternal validation onto others, expecting the same level of approval and acceptance. This can create unrealistic expectations and strain relationships. Recognizing these patterns is the first step towards understanding and navigating relationships with mama's boys. Remember Martin Payne from the sitcom Martin? Let's delve into his character as a case study. Martin's character is a fascinating study in the quest for maternal approval and its effects. His constant need for his mother's endorsement often steered his decision-making, from his career choices to his personal relationships. Moreover, Martin's relationships, particularly with his romantic partner, were heavily influenced by this dynamic. His need for maternal validation often resulted in him projecting his insecurities onto others, thereby straining his relationships. This projection is a common trait in individuals seeking constant approval, triggering an intense need to be seen as perfect in the eyes of others. The sitcom, while humorous, subtly highlights these psychological nuances, offering a glimpse into the complex interplay of maternal approval and self-perception. Martin Payne's character offers a relatable depiction of how maternal approval seeking can play out in real life. So, how can women navigate relationships with men who constantly seek maternal approval? It's a complex question, but one that can be answered with understanding, patience, and a firm sense of self. Firstly, it's vital to acknowledge that you're not responsible for filling the maternal void in your partner's life. It's a role you simply can't and shouldn't play. When dealing with narcissistic tendencies, it's crucial to set healthy boundaries. Make your needs and expectations clear and stand your ground if they're not respected. Responding effectively to narcissistic behavior means not feeding into it. Remember, you're not obliged to provide constant validation. Above all, prioritize your own well-being. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of your partner's needs, but it's essential to remember that your emotional health matters too. Seek support when you need it, and don't be afraid to step back when things get too heated. Understanding these dynamics can empower women to navigate their relationships more effectively. But what if you recognize these tendencies in yourself? It's a question that might induce a bit of discomfort, a slight squirm, and that's all right. It's a sign of self-awareness beginning to stir, a sign that you are ready to confront those parts of yourself that have been shaped by the quest for approval, especially maternal approval. In this journey of understanding, self-reflection is your compass. It helps you explore your own motivations, your needs, your fears. It's about asking yourself hard questions. Do you seek validation from others more than you should? Does the pursuit of approval influence your decisions, your relationships, your self-esteem? It's all right if the answers aren't immediately clear. 
Self-awareness isn't a one-time event, but a lifelong process. It's about accepting your complexities, acknowledging your patterns, and most importantly, being kind to yourself during this journey. Acknowledging these patterns is a crucial step towards personal growth and healthier relationships.